Hi there, my peeps, my vintage peeps. Yes, I found another GoBot mint in the box. GoBots Turnover Racer, English and French. Paid $25 uh, from a guy named Valcor in the, in, uh, when I was at the TFCon 80 show in Mississauga, Ontario in July. Do I regret it? Nope. It's really a cool toy. Very cheaply made. I've got, I've got a mint. So it says GoBots Turnover Racer. I don't read it in French. It's a little bit rare and tear. It says, buy me a battery. I like that. It's cool. It says, battery operated. Requires one C size battery, not included. 1985 Tonka from Tonka. All rights restored. GoBots race, uh, racer races along track, revolves around the command center and GoBot guard. Racer turns track up upside down then writes writes then writes itself and repeats action okay that's a fun think of it a four and five that's one side command center and go about revolves racer turns track upside down and writes itself beautiful packaging and you know what? I'm gonna open it. Back? Nothing. So now, let me show you the context. There's a little robot here. And as you can see, everything is in there. Pretty cool. You get uh, a track. Now, it's pretty hard to, look, to take out. Okay. I'm gonna take out one of the vehicles here. Here's one of the vehicles. Uh, this is where you put your battery in and you close it yeah a little bit dusty I guess the guy had it he had it for sale for a long time and nobody was buying it pretty cool there's all kinds of things that came with it I like it. It's different. Um, comes with a paper command center, see, and a lot of accessories. More pieces. Bye. Hmm, what can I say? I like this. It's different. It's unique. It's worth it to have because when you like certain things, like me, what do you do? You collect and you collect and you collect and you store and you store and you store. And that's what it is in life. You collect, you enjoy, you store. You collect, you enjoy, you store. You find it, you hunt it down, you put it aside. What do you do? This is collecting. Uh, this is why I like doing videos because I like to tell people what I collected. The value of this, it's not much. It goes for between 60 to $80. Don't pay more than that. It has its original instructions right here inside. Look at that. And tells you what to do, how to assemble everything. This is awesome. To see that you have the only way to know how to find it, you do not lose it. It's printed on its cardboard inside. This is awesome. Just the inside, I give it a 10 on 5. This is beautiful. It's not a rare piece, like I said. It's easy, you could easily find it on eBay for like $70 US. Uh, for us, for Canadians, we're gonna, it's going to cost us like about 120 for shipping and handling. What can I tell you? Like I said before, I'm a crazy collector. I'm always going to be collecting. I'm always going to be buying. I'm always going to be doing reviews. Till, you know, God wants. Knock on wood. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless me. And sorry. God bless the world. God bless me. I can't say that. Sorry. I, I, I resent that. But you know what? I have two guardian angels. They watch over me. When I hunt down toys, I'm pretty lucky. I do spend a lot, on, a lot of my money on toys. But that's my life. This is me. You like me. You don't. Doesn't bother me. My brother told me this thing. He goes, if someone talks good about you or they talk bad about you, as long as they talk about you, it's a good thing. So you know what? Leave me a good comment, leave me a bad comment, leave me the most shittiest comments. I don't care anymore. I'm not going to comment to you. Why? Because you're a troll. You live in your parents' basement and you make fun of people like me? No problem. 
Make fun of people like me or Pixel Dunn. I don't care. Plast Junkie out. Stay plastic. Stay GoBot. And stay vintage. Thank you, my peeps. You are the best.